Well, hey everybody, it is Mac. It is, let's see, what's today? Tuesday, and I'm actually gonna do a quick, quick video for you. So, you know, we've been doing our inner circle emails and I've been giving you the burning question. And so last week's burning question was, which historical figure would you like to spend the afternoon with? So mine, and I mentioned in the email, was Michelangelo, right? As somebody who enjoys art, painting, and sculpting, if I could spend an afternoon with that guy and just pick his brain, imagine what you could learn. So uh, whenever somebody responds, I always like to respond back to them, but I hang on to these because I thought you'd be interested to see what some of your colleagues here in the inner circle would actually like to be doing with that afternoon. So we'll give you just first initials here. So first one is initial D. Uh, it says, uh, in answer to your question, I have two historical people I would like to meet. One, Leonardo da Vinci, now that would be awesome. Uh, it would be nice to find out about his life, how he looked at things, his futuristic ideas that we use today, such as the helicopter. And then number two, Thomas Jefferson. It would be nice to talk to him about his visions and ideals and because I'm related to him. So there's a brush with greatness right there. All right, let's see, where's the mouse at? Let me go to the next one here. So the next one is from C. Uh, it says, I'd love to spend the afternoon with Jesus of Nazareth. So much of what I believe is based on tradition and others' interpretations of what he said, that I would love to ask why and how for myself. Um, so that's another good one, right? Everybody's got an interpretation. Why not just talk to the man himself? So that was a good one. All right, the next one is V. And V says, I think I'd like to spend my afternoon with Dwight Eisenhower talking about the run-up to D-Day and what he thought about the attack's chances, how he felt afterwards, and his take on George Patton, one of my dad, hero of my dad's, who was a U.S. Army combat medic and was also in Normandy, so a brush with greatness right there. But that would be something. And for those of you interested in that kind of history, there's a book that's called, uh, oh, I forget the name of it, but it was a deep dive on Eisenhower, Marshall, MacArthur, and Patton. So America's Team America, that's what it's called. Definitely check that out. All right, let's see. Uh, next on the list here, I think I would look at Steve Jobs and walk with him through the whole process of how he thought about starting a company called Apple and the steps that went forward. Maybe fun to see how he did it, and maybe sad to understand what he might have missed out in life because he focused too much on the business. So that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Because we could ask him their regrets too, couldn't we? All right, let's see, next one here, George Washington. I'd love to learn about the techniques he used in developing the country and setting up the fighting force, what we can learn about his life, etc. Yeah, I heard he had wooden teeth too. I don't know if that's true. All right, and then the last one also D. Uh, and this is interesting, all right? It says, uh, this week's inner circle, I have an answer to if I go back in time. I'd either want to speak with Hitler or Jesus. There's an interesting combo. I know that must sound in absolutely insane because total opposites. I've always been extremely interested in the Holocaust and always wondered what Hitler's thought process was on the Aryan race was. So there's that, right? Going into the mind of that crazy guy. For Jesus, well, I'm a Christian and so to, to have known or to speak with Jesus would be incredible to me, and that would be good. I'm kind of thinking if you could have Jesus and Hitler in the same room, something tells me Jesus would be doing some whipping ass with that guy, huh? At any rate, you know, I think all of us would love to be able to do that, to just go back and talk to some of these folks. But what I really enjoy is the fact that you're able to think and share those things. And one of the reasons we started Inner Circle is to build rapport. And so now you get a little bit of insight into how people think and some of the things that they're interested and curious in. And I really hope that you enjoy that. So if you look down at the bottom, you'll see there's another burning question for next week. Hope you enjoy that. And I will look forward to seeing you. I know it's kind of a mess in here. I've got the Mr. Rogers sweater because it's freezing in here. And you can see my green screen with no fake bricks. At any rate, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next week on the Inner Circle. Goodbye.